welcome to free cad new session and in this session we will learn how to do part modeling in a draft workbench as you can see that i have a 2d drawing and we will convert this 2d drawing into the 3d model with the help of a draft workbench so here i am going to activate my draft workbench i will create a new file and i will select this top view so you can see that my cube is on the top position now I will select the rectangle and I will draw a rough rectangle and now I will switch to the tree view in a rectangle we will see that its position is in minus direction if we can go to the placement view we can find that so x and y position is in the minus and our origin is here so we will make this value 0 to place it as the origin positions now it has been placed at the origin point now we will give our dimensions of uh, height and length so height I will give 50 as per our 2D drawing and length I will give 100 so we have given this 150 now we will select our rectangle and click on this downgrade tool so sketch is converted into the wire and then again we select our wire and click on the downgrade so it will be break out into the edges now we will check that our snap setting is on so here my snap setting is on you can simply activate and deactivate it by a single click now I will select a line if my midpoint is on then it will automatically detect the midpoint so I will select midpoint of this line and midpoint of this line and I will draw a line and now I will again select a line and join with the midpoint here because this length is 100 so midpoint will come 50 here and it is a 50 so 25 will become here now we will use the trim tool here is a trim X and we will select our line first select line and then click on trim tool and as length is a 50 so we will give 25 press enter click on the line click on this trim X tool and give here minus 50 and press enter so it has been trimmed and now this line which we have uh, made for construction is not required so delete it now come to the tree view so this is the line and other three are the edges so I will downgrade it so it will come into the wire now I will select all this and upgrade it to combine it so it came into the single wire now we can simply turn off this grid okay. now we will switch to the part workbench we will select this wire click on this extrude click on the custom direction give along length 30 because our width is 30 so we will give here 30 and we will click click on check solid and we will say ok so you can see that our overall shape has been made now 
we will make this hole of diode 10 so for this we will click on this cylinder and then we will give the value of 10 so we will click on the cylinder and here is the radius so we will give R5 and uh, we will give it a 60 more than of this 30 length so I will give it uh, 60 now we can see that our cylinder is vertical but we want to make hole on this area so for this we will select on cylinder click on the transform and we will rotate it now we will say ok now we will again click on the cylinder go to its placement so as per our drawing the horizontal position is uh, 65 and vertical position is 15 so we will go to the placement and then position so we will see our UCS is in X direction so X direction it will be 65 and in Z direction it will be 15 so I will give 15 so now a solid cylinder inserted at our position now we will remove the material with the help of a boolean operation so we will select this extrude and then cylinder and we will use boolean operation cut so you can see that hole has been made now we want this fillet R20 so I will select this edge and click on this fillet so here my edge has been selected which is A16 and radius I will give 20 and I will press enter and I will switch to the isometric so this is how we have successfully converted our 2d drawing into the 3d model with the help of a draft workbench thank you for watching